Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are a new subscriber or you're watching my video for the first time, hi, my name is Ashna and uh, I make YouTube videos. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe myself, but anyway. I have been wanting to film a vlog for so long and I asked you guys yesterday on my Instagram and you all wanted a vlog as well. So we are doing like a day in my life plus a Q&A. I have some questions that you guys have asked uh, and uh, because there are so many new subscribers here and new followers on my Instagram as well, I thought a Q&A would be fun. I'm actually late as always. So I am going to quickly go for a shower but before I go for a shower, I thought I'll answer one or two questions. The first question is where did you get your glasses from? I got my glasses from Lenscart. I will leave a link. Most of the time it is sold out. So hopefully if it's in stock, I will leave a link in the description. My face is not doing well. As you can tell, I have a lot of acne at the moment and I have no idea what is causing it. I'm trying to figure out if I'm doing something wrong with my skincare, which is why I've just stopped using products. Like anything anything that i was using before also i've just stopped using everything i have no idea what is causing the breakouts my h&m order just arrived and i'm so like i want to open the order but if i sit to open it i'm going to be very very late and i can't afford that so i'm quickly going to finish my um coffee and get ready and be back oh one more question was why <laughs> are you not getting your clock fixed um if any of you are new here this clock hasn't been working for over a year now. Everybody that watches my YouTube videos knows that. Um, I'm planning to renovate my whole room. I thought when I renovate the whole room, I will change the clock as well. It's just that because of COVID, uh, I don't think I can start construction right now. And that's why it's taking so long. I've been wanting to do this since uh, November, I think. November or December. But because of COVID, everything has just been on hold uh so yeah that's the reason i haven't changed the clock i should remove it but the clock has left like a stain on the wall hopefully there won't be a clock over there we'll do something else maybe i don't know i am ready uh i am just going to eat now quickly i've kept my makeup pretty simple today i don't know why i was feeling like just not doing that much obviously there's a huge difference from my before and after but i like the natural makeup all i've done is uh, foundation concealer and blush and obviously powder and highlighter and my and lipstick and mascara for my hair i'm just gonna leave it straight i think it it looks nice uh another question i had was if i plan on going short again or keep growing my hair out and keeping it long i actually want to go short i love how that looks i know a lot of people were like keep your hair long but uh, i am currently liking the short hair it's just that um everything is shut over here so i can't go get a haircut which is why my hair has grown long but um yeah i want to go short let's eat recently what i have been loving and this has been my breakfast for a couple of weeks now is oats dosa the only reason i'm having it is because it tastes good and it's healthy i think this is the only healthy meal that i have in the day i already regret not doing my nails before this video because i know i'm in the future i'm gonna look at myself and i'll be like why didn't you just do your nails before this video i also bought a gel acrylic uh, nail thing to try and do my nails at home but then i already know that i'm gonna mess it up and I feel like how will I remove it like removing gel nails after you stick them is kind of difficult so I'm thinking of doing a YouTube video where I just attempt to do gel nails at home I don't know the next question is uh, do you think being off YouTube has helped you mentally hmm definitely has sorry <laughs> I hope there's no food stuck in my teeth when I speak but um it definitely has helped me uh i didn't plan to take a break like sometimes it's very unintentional uh it just doesn't feel organic to me and uh i feel like for me taking breaks helps also because the whole point of me making youtube videos is for me to entertain people and for me to make people feel good about themselves about their day about just 
anything just make people feel good and i feel like i cannot do that unless i feel good so yeah i, I want it to be exciting for you i want it to be exciting for me also and that's why i feel taking breaks helps me um just to sit back think about what else i want to work on and yeah i don't know if i've answered the question my hand is hurting but that is the basic gist of it like for me taking breaks is so that i can take time off feel good about myself come back on youtube make videos and make you feel good that's the basic idea um and if i feel like i'm not in the right headspace i'll just take some days off and i feel like for me uh i know when i'm not up for it or i'm demotivated being demotivated or un unproductive or feel lazy is is very okay given the situation that we all are in uh now it's going to start raining also so uske upar aur laziness aane wala hai and all you're going to think about is chai and pakoda i genuinely did when it was raining one day i could smell pakoda the whole day i don't know kaun bana raha tha but i could so anyway good luck to everyone because barish bhi aane wali hai and i don't know how any of us are going to get any work done but i just I don't know where I've gone with this answer, but anyway, I'm late. But I have to do an OOTD before I leave. Uh, here is my outfit. <laughs> Love these jeans. These buttons open up all the way till here, and these are like flared wide leg jeans. These are from Fashion Nova. I have my shoes, and uh, I have this vest that I got from H and M. Just came today, and I needed it, so I opened my order. This jacket is from Zara. and this bag is from an instagram page called jute smart so this bag is made of jute which i love and a close up for my jewelry as you know my earrings are from h&m uh this really cute necklace is from a instagram page called ru handmade i think this is a handmade necklace which is so cute and then these rings are from h&m all of them and i think i should go now cuz all i ever wanted was to be enough my camera is moving a lot i don't have like a holder for my camera right now in the car so i've just kept it on the dashboard and that's why it's moving so much and i'm also driving and i don't want to hold the camera in my hand that's my props i am obsessed with olivia's album i can't choose a favorite song and i just i love enough for you oh shaza i'm sorry about that guys it's okay everything's okay you're fine i'm sorry about that <laughs> anyway i love all her songs i love favorite crime enough for you happier traitor i'm at a signal so i'm going to read another question the next question is what are your upcoming projects are you going to sing so I guess this is a good time to tell you guys. Uh I don't have anything concrete planned as of yet. I have personally been writing for a year now I think, but I have only written songs that are incomplete. I've never finished a song. So currently right now I'm going for a writing session and I'm so excited about it because I don't know I feel like it's it's moving forward my camera fell again sorry but uh, as I was saying it took me so long um I guess to figure out what my vibe was personally and uh, I want that when somebody hears a song by me they should feel like it's my song like it should feel like okay yeah, it it resonates with her personality like my playlist is a khichdi I listen to everything so to find out what my My vibe is was difficult. I'm very excited about this uh, writing session. The reason why I haven't spoken about music on my channel since Befikar is because I wasn't sure when I'm going to release music and if I would say anything it would put a lot of pressure on me and I didn't want that. I just wanted to figure things out at my own at, at my own pace. So now I feel like it's moving forward and I'm excited. That's why I'm I'm sharing it with you guys. I still don't know when things are going to be ready. see you after my session it's going to be weird if i vlog inside and this is my first meeting so you get it okay bye i just got done it was amazing oh my god i just had so much fun i don't know i could have so much fun and um i'm just excited that that's all i have to share because there's progress but um it's still going to take time for things to be ready 
I'm back home. I actually went to uh, the Dam Fam house to meet Rishabh Tanzil and uh, Addy. They are actually the only people that haven't gone home. So I went to meet them quickly because I had to come back home and I was very hungry. So I had pav bhaji over there and I dropped some on my t-shirt. So I have to change. It's a white top. I always do this. I don't know why. I'm not usually clumsy like that. But anytime that I'm wearing white, and especially if it is my sister's top, I will drop something on it and it's so sad. I thought I'll quickly answer one question. One word for your entire YouTube journey. You've come a long way and we love you and your content. That's so sweet. Thank you. Uh, one word for my entire YouTube journey. I think for me, YouTube has been all about the growth. Um, not just in numbers, but for me as a person as well. I remember when I started YouTube, I was very conscious to be on camera and to talk and I was I always thought like oh my god people are gonna watch my video and my friends are gonna watch my video and uh, how will I sound and how will I look and I thought about all those things and I feel like now I'm at a balance where I'm comfortable sharing what I share and I'm also as real as I can be I mean I need to change oh I should maybe do an H&M haul for you how long is this vlog gonna be nobody has an idea but I just had to come back and have coffee because I have a long night still I have to edit this video also and I'm having coffee in my boom roasted cup so if you remember from the office the ro uh, the Michael Scott roast I don't remember the episode name but um, he gets so pissed that everybody's roasting him that he ends up roasting everybody in one go and this is the whole roast here like Jim you're this you're that you're that boom roasted blah, 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 blah. so this was a custom made cup for me for my birthday I there's a coffee drop that drop looks so disgusting but I actually didn't realize but I am a mug person like a coffee mug person I love different types of mugs and I have a lot of them so I have my H&M order here quickly gonna show it to you got this t-shirt oversized got this pink skirt might look cute I got the same white or uh, sleeveless thing in black as well oh my god I think I accidentally ordered two of the same top. I'm wearing it and this is the second one. So I guess if I don't get the pav bhaji stain off my t-shirt, I have a spare one. That's really dumb. I also don't know why I purchased a cap. I never wear a cap, but I want to. Can I be a cap person? I have no idea. Like sometimes you just, oh my God, I look horrible. Never wearing a cap again. Oh yeah, you guys. I have a new pajama set. All of you have been obsessed with my avocado pajama set. It's like I invented it. Aisa obsession hua hai. And it's not me guys, it's H&M. So I have a new pair of pajamas. Da -da -da -da. It's bananas. And such a cute pink color. So it's got a shorts and a t-shirt thing. Oh my God, I'm excited. Pajamas. Ooh, this is nice. We got shorts. Cute. See? Oh no, he tripped on my shoe. But uh, I got these shorts because H&M shorts are really comfy. I'm nervous about this because I don't know how it will look on me but I, I still want to try it. It's a t-shirt and shorts set. I have this big oversized t-shirt and it has a matching pair of shorts. I think it might look cute and uh, maybe I wear my cap with it. This really vibrant tie-dye top also. I thought it's cute. And this is the last item clothing wise. So it's this floral dress. It has an open round cutout at the back and it's a full length. I really wanted like a midi dress that I can wear and it should be very flowy. I didn't want something very figure hugging and it's got uh, slits on both the sides. Bombay is opening up restaurants again, but they are opening up restaurants at 50% capacity and I might just go to eat something so I want to wear like a summer summer dress and go for a go for brunch brunch club I was trying on all the outfits and I just wore the black one I thought I'll answer a few more questions what is your screen time on your phone do you feel like you should spend less time on it I always feel like I spend way too much time on my phone but let me see my screen time my screen time is one hour can you see 
it just loaded into six hours what the fuck i when i opened it it said one hour and now it says six hours two minutes that's insane it's it's part of my job so that's my excuse uh but yeah i do want to spend less time on my phone and i was able to do it when i read a book i feel like reading books is a very big task for me uh i don't i don't have the patience i feel like usually the start of the books are very very slow uh, when i started reading a book i finished the book in two days because it was that interesting and i just did not go on my phone the whole whole time so i basically have to just find books that can hold my attention the whole time my hair has been looking so pathetic this whole time nobody told me next question is what's an odd habit about you that you dislike and want to change um it's not an odd habit but i i hate that i procrastinate a lot a lot and i push everything to the last minute and especially when you're a creator and you get an idea you're supposed to execute it right away because you're not the only genius who can think of an idea so if you don't execute it somebody else will and i think that's happened to me multiple times because i'm i get lazy and i procrastinate um any reel you've seen on my feed any video you've seen please no i have thought about it one month in advance and it's taken me one month to execute it always takes me so long that sometimes i just things go out of trend and things are just they don't make sense anymore and then i don't upload things i don't i just don't shoot them then i feel like as a creator that's the one thing i hate most about myself next question is uh, what do you think you would do if you were not part of dam farm i think i would still be doing the same thing that i'm doing right now for all nine of us we do not start dam fam as it it wasn't like a career move we started it because we i mean most of the days we are together we spend so much time together we enjoy each other's company you guys enjoy seeing us together in videos and that's how we thought of coming up with dam fam um other than that i mean before dam fam started all of us had our individual profiles and youtube channels and we were all actively making videos so i think we would still be doing the same thing if we weren't part of dam fam but i'm so glad that we we went ahead with that decision because it's i mean i'm so proud of how well dam fam has done in the past year itself so okay i'm going to end the video on this last question because uh, in 2 hours it's my mom's birthday and i need to go prepare for that uh, the last question is three reasons that anyone should subscribe to your channel i thought this was a fun question um reason number 1 is you will be entertained and it is for free reason number 2 uh i try a lot of dumb shit on my channel and cook a lot of food which almost always turns out amazing and uh, you will get to crave the food that i cook that's my second reason reason number 3 is that you will never know how many times i'm interrupted when i'm filming a youtube video because i cut that out because it's it's not fun to watch it's mostly really irritating so that i let you skip i go through it but you skip it so just kidding <laughs> but no reason number 3 for me is um i guess through my youtube videos i've been able to just build a nice sweet community and i feel like even if we never ever end up meeting i don't know i wish to meet all of you but if i don't meet you uh we will still feel like we know each other and we'll still feel like we're friends i will uh, continue to make you laugh i will continue to uh, just give you all my love everything just have you subscribed yet ke main aur bolu continue karu i don't know there's been a lot of uh, chitter chatter but i hope i've answered some of your questions and you've had fun watching this video thank you thank you thank you for always being so patient with my uploads with me taking uh, breaks uninformed and just just always being there for me the shout outs for today go to archana ramesh and and juhi choudhary thank you so much for subscribing if you want to shout out my next video let me know that you have subscribed and i will see you all next time